Well, this job entails driving a satellite truck to the location that we want for news. We then get there, set up, and you're often the first person there. Um, then you'll have to find out where, where is a good place to park the truck. It's such that you can either see satellites that you need to use, or for our case we've got a terrestrial link as well. We've got to then think about where you can put a camera. We've got a radio camera, so that's in, that helps enormously, but still that's, there are limitations on that. From there you've then got to set up finding the satellite, finding the terrestrial link point and so on. The cameraman might arrive then, plug the camera in, get everything set up for that, and then the reporter will come along, you'll be ready to do the live. I started at age 18, I had maths, physics and chemistry at A-levels. The BBC took me on as a technical assistant, where I trained for two and a half years or so, um, going through the BBC's training scheme to become an engineer. Uh, and since then I've done different jobs in the BBC as an engineer. I'm now what's called a senior operator, which encompasses the job of engineering related to um, satellite truck operating within its scope. The advice I would give to, to a, somebody looking to try and do this now would be to say maths and physics as a start and then I would say you know you need to be able to be aware of all sorts of the things related to the industry so computers are used very heavily now in, in all forms of our uh, methods of transmission and methods of program creation and so on so a, a very in-depth knowledge of computing and the way it all works is very important but but actually engineering in an electronic sense, in a wider sense, is extremely useful for this type of job. I think engineers are people who take ideas that people want to have as, as dreams and turn them into day-to-day -day reality. And that might be something like the Beetham Tower that was built here in Manchester, a very tall tower. That, and that takes a lot of engineering skills to make that sort of thing happen in reality. Or it might be the job that I do, which is go out to, to, to set up our live satellite things and uh, make sure the pictures and sound get back to the studio so that we can do a report from a location. I think it's very important that organisations like the RE raise the profile of engineering. I think it's important that in the eyes of the public we're more than just people that fix the washing machine you know, and do all sorts of things like that. That there actually is a huge range of jobs that have the title engineer within them a massive range of things, much more than people imagine. So it's very important to raise that profile.